Hi everyone! In this lesson we're going to take a look at some of the additional show options and settings that are available in the newest version of the ProShow web app. When first building a show or when going back to edit a show, down here at the bottom of the screen you'll see this icon that looks like a gear. Tap this icon to open the show settings. The first option you'll see is the title for your show. By default, all new shows are called My New Slideshow. To change this, tap here, type in a new title, then tap Apply. If you'd like, you can also change the theme for your show by tapping here. Now, as you may recall from earlier tutorials, a theme is a collection of slide styles and transitions that go well together. Swipe to browse through the available options or tap this theme label here to search for a new theme by category. To preview a theme, tap the play icon. When you find one you like, tap the apply button. Back on the settings page, if you have a plus or premium account, the next option you can configure is the poster image for your show. Now by default, this will be the first image that appears in your show. But you can also choose a different photo by tapping the icon and choosing an image from your device library or camera roll. To undo this change, tap the image again, then select Remove. Plus and Premium users also have the option to lock a show and prevent changes. Tap here to toggle this on or off. When in the on position, your show cannot be changed or deleted from your account. You'll also find some advanced show settings that affect show creation and playback. Now when your show has more than one song, the crossfade music option will automatically blend your tracks together. The first song will gradually fade out as the next song fades in at the same time. By default, this option is turned on, but if you'd like, you can tap here to disable this feature. Next we have the auto sync option. Now this is a very important feature as it helps you control the tempo of your shows. Again, by default this option is turned on and that tells the app to build your show to be the same length as your show soundtrack. Now let's say you only have 10 to 15 images and a 3 minute long song. The auto sync option may cause the effects and overall pacing of your show to be a little slow. To change the pace of your show, Simply tap this to turn it off, then use the slider to slow down or speed up your show however you'd like. Now when you make a manual adjustment, there are two very important things to keep in mind. First, when your show is rebuilt, depending on which way you move the slider, the app may use completely different effects from your selected theme. Now this happens because the app knows that some effects work better than others at certain speeds. The second thing to keep in mind is that as you speed up a show, you may run out of content before you run out of music. Now, when that happens, you'll no longer hear the soundtrack in its entirety. Instead, the app will simply apply a fade out to your soundtrack when it reaches the end of your show. The next option is Private Show. Now, this prevents anyone else from seeing your show outside of your account, even if you've shared a direct link. Simply tap here to toggle this on or off. Now down at the very bottom you'll find these options. Remove all effects and remove all times. You'll use these options when applying custom effects and timing to your shows, which is covered in detail in another training video. Now moving back up a little, these options are available to premium subscribers only. Used separately or combined, these options are both excellent tools for professionals who want to promote their own brand when sharing shows. First, we have the watermark option. This allows you to choose any JPEG or ping image from your device and overlay it onto your show. Now, watermarks will always appear as semi-transparent images in the lower right corner of your videos, just like a network logo. Finally, we have the custom branding option. When you email or share a link to your show, this option creates a more generic, unbranded link. For example, 
Instead of this, your friends, family, or clients would see this. That's it for this lesson. Be sure to check out our other ProShow web app videos, and don't forget to visit our blog and YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.